Alright there guys, welcome back again to another video, hope you're all doing good today. Just got another Blu-ray media book update for you. Um, had a bunch of new arrivals come through the post this week, uh, so six things to give you a look at. Uh, mostly blind buyers, I've only seen a couple of these. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is not long been out on Blu-ray in the US, courtesy of Screen Factory. And that's the movie The Brain from 1988, which looks a good bit of cheesy sci-fi creature feature fun. Um, I've seen a bunch of you guys pick this up in your recent updates and you give it a bit of praise so I'm intrigued enough to give this one a go for myself. I'm pretty confident I'll enjoy it. It does look uh, quite an entertaining one. And uh, this one's been put up by uh, a label who I'm not too familiar with. I've never seen these guys before. M Square Classics. This could possibly be their first release. And if, if it is, they're off to a damn good start. It's a, a really nice looking book. Um, I love the artwork in this one. That just about outshines the US Blu-ray. Um, what they went with, I think this one's the more eye-catching. And it's been given a nice leather effect finish on the outer cover. That's a nice touch. And it's really fairly priced at the moment on Amazon Germany. It's just over 20 euros, which is a, a really good price point for a new release. Especially compared to other labels out there that put out media books who uh, really do take the piss with their prices. Um, there's just no justification for what they charge some of them. Um, so yeah, hopefully these guys develop a bit of a fan base and bring us more releases in the future. Um, I'm not sure how many it's limited to. It's not numbered and it doesn't state a limitation number. I would imagine it's no more than 1500 or 1000 even. Uh, this does contain the new HD transfer. No special features listed on the back anywhere, so it could possibly be a bare bones release. I haven't checked it out yet, so uh, bear that in mind. So yeah, let's give you a quick look on the inside. There's the Blu-ray disc. And as usual with media books, they throw in a DVD copy as well. And a nice layout on the inside. It's a good mix of uh, text and still images. Uh, all in German, of course. About 16 pages included. So yeah, I like what I see here. Really nice. So there you go guys, that is The Brain from 1988. Right, moving on, we have a bit of uh, British sleaze here. This is Killer's Moon from 1978, uh, put out by X-Rated Cult, a long-established Austrian label. And I have seen this one a good few years ago. Um, from what I remember, it's about uh, four, four psychopaths, and they're undergoing a, an experimental LSD treatment drug in an institute where they're being held. And what this drug does, it puts the uh, people in a, a dreamlike state, so they, they believe they're living in a dream. And they, these four guys escape from the institution, and they go on a bit of a rampage through the English countryside. And they, they think there's no consequences to their actions, they're living in a dream. They wake up the next day and they think it's all going to be in, in their head. But of course it's very real, and yeah, like I said, they go on a bit of a murder spree. They catch up with a bunch of uh, schoolgirls and proceed to terrorise them and assault them in various ways. So yeah, a uh, pretty unpleasant vibe to this one, but it's not quite as graphic as other movies around the same time. Like as I Spit on Your Grave or Last House on the Left, not quite as uh, sleazy as those types. But it gets its point across, it's, uh, it's an okay film, it's not too bad. And uh, yep, this is the uh, cover B variant. Uh, there was two covers available, this one has the uh, US VHS artwork which is pretty nice, it gives it more of a slasher vibe. The other cover consisted of the UK theatrical poster, which was, itself was okay, but I went with the more slasher-oriented one. There's the back for you. Let's give you a quick close-up of the uh, special features. Limited to 333 copies. You do get a couple of interviews here as well in the commentary. And I think the interviews were exclusive to this release, I think. So there you go, there's the inside of it, there's the uh, Blu-ray disc, and there's your limited edition number there, which they print on the inside of the cover. This particular label do that. Usually it's numbered on the back with other media books. And there's a, a cheeky little skin flick of a bonus movie, a Massage Salon. I have no idea about this one. I would imagine it's not in English. I've seen her, I think she's a French actress, so it could possibly be a French movie, this one. And typical of this label, it's almost all uh, text inside that's your only image 
so if you're not a, a German speaker, you might feel a bit sh short changed if you pick this one up. There you go, all text. So there you go. That is uh, Killer's Moon from 1978. Next up, we have uh, No Retreat, No Surrender, and an absolutely brilliant looking cover for this one. This one's been put out by Nameless Media. There you go, and this is a nice addition to my uh, Van Damme media book collection. This is one I've been waiting for, and it's a really super cheesy movie. One of the cheesiest movies you'll ever see, it's from 1986, and it's like a cross between ooh, The Karate Kid and Rocky IV, with uh, Bruce Lee's ghost making an appearance as well. And uh, yeah, Van Damme's first movie, I believe, and uh, he's not in it that much. He's in it at the beginning, and of course in the climactic fight sequence at the end. Um, Pretty good fight, actually. It's a really rough. Uh, Van Damme doesn't hold back. He gets a bit too physical in places, and I think he actually knocked out his co-star a couple of times as well. But he was new to the game then, uh, of course. Uh, 1986, his first movie, and he went from strength to strength after this. But uh, yeah, great looking cover. Like I say, absolutely love it. Very ADs indeed. Uh, this one was cover A. There are three different covers available. Uh, each one was limited to 333 copies. There you go, numbered on the back there. And you do get a couple of interviews, uh, commentary, and you get the new uh, remastered uh, longer cut of the movie, which runs about 99 minutes. You also get the, the shorter US cut, which is about 84 minutes. So there's the uh, longer version remastered on Blu-ray and the shorter US cut on Blu-ray also. And as usual with Namus, uh, a really nice booklet inside. Uh, nice images, nicely designed and laid out. Uh, this is really cool artwork as well. This is for the other, one of the other media books. I think this one was cover B. That's really nice as well. So yeah, excellent edition. Uh, bring on more Van Damme media books, I say. I do love his earlier films. There you go. So that's uh, No Retreat, No Surrender from 1986. Right, moving on. We have a bit of gothic horror. Uh, this is uh, Vincent Price in Twice Told Tales uh, from 1963, I believe. A nice gothic looking cover. Uh, this one's been put out by NSM Records uh, recently. And there was a bunch of different covers for this one, about five or six. Uh, really nice. I had a tough time choosing which one I would uh, go with in the end, uh, but I went with the uh, the skull looking cover. I am a sucker for a skull, hence the name. And uh, yeah, got nice gothic look to it. I haven't seen the movie, but I believe it's uh, an anthology of sorts consisting of three stories, uh, two hour runtime. I'm a, uh, anthologies are a bit hit or miss with me. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of them, to be honest, but I thought I could give this one a go. I was lured in with the tempting artwork and uh, wanted to grab one of these before they all went because they are quite limited. Uh, this one here is cover B and it's limited to. Only 222 copies. I think each cover had that very low limitation. But they are still available on Amazon Germany if you're interested. Uh, only special feature of note here is a commentary by a couple of German guys. So that's unlikely to be in English. So don't buy this expecting a horde of special features to go through. So yeah. Looks a good bit of fun. I think I'll watch this later on tonight. Let's give you a quick look on the inside. Really nice interior on this one. That's a really nice poster. Uh, that would have made a nice media but cover itself. I don't think they uh, went with that one. Yeah, some backing artwork there. And there's a DVD copy. And once again about 16 pages inside. You get that gothic feel on the inside as well. So really nice looking. Uh, media book this one quite happy with this so yeah that's uh, twice told tales from 1963 right next up are a couple of movies on the focus media label uh, first up we have uh, Corbin Nash uh, from 2018 uh, a fairly new film that's unfamiliar to me um, I wasn't aware of this one until this release got announced but from the bit of research I've done on it um, apparently it's a poor man's blade um, doesn't have the best reviews actually, uh, despite uh, a decent little cast, you have Corey Feldman, uh, Bruce Davison, Rutger Hauer, 
and Malcolm McDowell making an appearance in this one. So what could go wrong? Uh, apparently a lot, uh, a lot of its uh, curious moments uh, are down to Corey Feldman's performance. Apparently he's quite a gives an an, an, an embarrassing uh, appearance in this one. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, gosh, he is. He's, he's a bit of an oddball character these days, from what I've heard. Um, but we'll see what he's like in this. Uh, nice cover on the front, but I think they could have made the colours a bit brighter and more vibrant, so they stand out a bit more. But um, it's got a nice bit of spot, spot glossing on the uh, title there. That's pretty nice. There's the back. And there was like four different covers for this one. Really limited as well. Uh, this one was only limited to 135. And I think each cover had a similar limitation number, but they are available on Amazon Germany still if you fancy some of this. You do get some uh, special features there. English friendly. So we'll see what this one's all about. So there's your, uh, your Blu ray disc there, and a DVD copy, and a nice booklet which is. Uh, Pretty nice actually, you get a bit of uh, storyboard animations, uh, behind the scenes stills, concept art, promotional materials, so behind the scenes stuff. So uh, a good little book this one, it covers all different aspects of the uh, production. Some text of course, that will all be in German. A bunch of other posters there which, I don't know, may have had an influence on the movie itself. Uh, various actors that have paid Dracula in the past. But, yeah. Pretty cool media bit this one. Just hope hope the uh, movie delivers somewhat. I'm sure Corey Feldman's performance will be uh, curious enough to check out on its own. So there you go guys, that is Corbin Nash. Right, and last up for this update. Uh, my s second focus media media book in this update is from Dan is, uh, is of Danny's Doomsday. Uh, 2014, put out by Focus Media. Really nice spine on this one. This is actually uh, a Danish movie. I know very little about this one as well. Um, it looks to be like an end of world scenario. Uh, a Danish city under siege from a bunch of uh, creatures uh, whose whereabouts I do not know. I haven't seen the movie yet. But whether they've been engineered in a lab or whether they've landed from another galaxy, uh, that remains to be seen. But it looks uh, PG-13 stuff, so nothing gory or gruesome in any, in any way but a, a bit of light-hearted action here I would imagine but uh, not English friendly at all there's no English audio or subs on this one it's all in Danish and German so bear that in mind but I'll, I'll still watch it it's only on for an hour and a half and if I do find it to my taste I'll seek out an English friendly copy from somewhere and it's a pretty nice cover on this once again nice spot glossing on the uh, title text that's really nice and on the spine as well Focus Media, good quality releases. They do put out some obscure little films. So there you go. Once again, super limited. There's only uh, 110 of this particular cover. I think there was uh, four different covers, or th four or three different covers available. Uh, I believe this one's cover D. Uh, not much in the way of special features. There's just a trailer and a behind-the-scenes segment. And there you go. Just German and Danish audio. And there's no subtitles at all, so not English friendly, but a nice looking book and should have some a bit of uh, should have a bit of entertainment value about it. Nice inside. There you go. There's a DVD copy, and once again, as with the previous media book from Focus Media, uh, a good range of stills and promotional artwork to uh, feast your eyes upon, along with some text. A bunch of creature features there from the past that may have had an influence on the film. Just a shame I can't read these books, man. But anyway, there you go guys, that is Danny's Doomsday from 2014. If you've seen that one, let me know what it's like. And that's it for this update, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching, as always. You enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks for all the comments, the subs. Much appreciated. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.